ahead, John Bon Jovi. Mix 107.9, you know, he's seen a million faces and rocked them all. Kelly, did you know that? I did not know that. Yes, you did. I'm one, one of them. Life. Uh -huh. <laughs> bon Jovi on Mix 107.9. <laughs> Kelly Gingery, the Mixed Flick Chick in the studio, because Tuesday is new DVD day, and we're going to quick, like, uh, race through three DVD reviews. Big yeah. day today. Oh, big ones, honey. Why don't we start with the Harry Potter, or you have... Uh, yeah, no, that's okay. cool. Harry you Potter know, these and are... the Half-Blood Prince. This is the sixth one of these? Can you believe it? Wow. Harry, is he 45 now? What is he? Um, he's still in high school at Hogwarts. You know what? This one, they loved. The Potterheads, they said, a lot of oh, them yeah. said, this was the best one of wow. the whole franchise. Oh, man. Now, if you remember, when I came when I came in to review it from seeing it in the theater, that was my first one I've ever seen. Oh, okay. You know, oh, so, okay. So I was a newbie. I right. was a, a muggle. Yeah. And <laughs> I liked it, you know, and I was able to kind of get what's going on. I had my girlfriends telling me. They gave mm -hmm. me the whole quick synopsis of... Is it good to go with an experienced Harry Potter person? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so if you... Or to have it, one at home. Yeah. Right, right. Have one at home. Do you have a Harry Potter head at home? Bring it home. <laughs> so it's a little darker than the other ones. Okay. But they're teenagers now, and there's some love, and there's some funny stuff. I really enjoyed it. Okay, So great. I'm kind of a reformed Harry Potter head. All right. Yes to Harry Potter yes. and the Half-Blood Prince. Yes. Now, I remember you going to see Public Enemies with Johnny Depp, and yes. I, I seem to remember that you you liked Johnny Depp. I can't mm -hmm. remember if you liked the movie overall. I Here's the deal about this one. Johnny Depp, awesome. Uh -huh. Marianne Cotillard. Oh, that's right. Beautiful French yeah. actress who won Best Actress two years ago for La Vie en Rose. Okay. She played Edith Piaf. So yeah. she is a great actress. She's gorgeous. They have chemistry to knock your socks off. Okay. okay? okay. But the movie itself, a little bit bloodless. <laughs> no pun intended. It's about John Dillinger. Right. It's like Michael Mann, who directed it, is the guy behind Miami Vice. Yeah. You know, stylized. Yeah. It, it's gorgeous to look at, honey, and with mm -hmm. those two. But it just kind of lacked something in the drama department, which is hard to believe. Sure. And Christian Bale plays the guy that's trying tracking to catch him, him you know, yeah. tracking him down. I I recommend it to people who, A, love Johnny Depp uh -huh. and are interested in this kind of era, the 30s and the, the Depression and the ba oh, bank robbers gotcha. as celebrity. Yeah. You know, it's kind of um, Bonnie and Clyde-ish. Yeah. But it's not, I think it didn't have the wow factor because it just... There was something lacking, and I can't put my finger on it, but I loved the two of them together. So. Okay. okay, all right, interesting. And then uh, Julie and Julia. I love this. Yeah. Okay, and this, I recommend to people, hey, buy this DVD Okay. With for your favorite cook or someone who cooks oh, okay. for you, uh -huh. and maybe the books. It was based on two books. Julie Powell wrote a book, and then right. Julia Child wrote a book, and they adapted both of them, put them together, and created okay. this film. Okay. Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. Oh, Is that right? Yeah. Meryl, well, number one. I, I'm saying it here, and I think most people already are guessing. She's going to be nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. Now, I don't know if she'll win, because this year may be tough. There are some other gals that are going right. to be up for stuff. But she's awesome, and she's funny. And you know what I liked about this movie? And other people mentioned this. It shows an adult couple, Julia Child and her husband, yeah. in love. A happy marriage in love. You don't see that a lot. You oh, see a lot of young right. kids in love. Right. But these are older, mature adults, and they're in love. And it was just nice, you know? And, yeah. and the story is fun. Every time Julie... Julia Child, which is Meryl Streep, is on screen. It's awesome. Uh -huh. Now, Amy Adams is cute and everything, but Julia Child's scenes are just great. Right. Yeah. She Meryl becomes Streep her. Really, yeah, yeah. She becomes Choose her. Choose some scenery. So. Exactly. Okay. As well as a lot of good food. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You go. Do not go hungry. Okay. <laughs> oh, honey. Don't go hungry. Don't go to that movie <gasps> in, the, in the Willie Nelson way no. on an empty stomach. Or you'll be... <laughs> <laughs> no. Because popcorn's, popcorn's not going to yeah. do it. <laughs> Okay, then uh, Friday is a pretty mm. big day as far as new movies, so yes, we're going to talk about Friday morning. Invictus, which is Clint Eastwood directed, right. Morgan Freeman yes. plays Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Mandela. What a great casting. And Matt Damon, oh my gosh, he's buff, honey. He's been working, he plays a rugby player. <laughs> okay. I was like, whoa, Okay. where All have right. you been, Born Identity? Honey. <laughs> Invictus? At the gym. Okay, so that opens Friday. Yeah. And uh, then uh, at Disney, they're going back to the animated Hand drawn. Yeah. Yes, oh. yeah. With Princess and the Frog. Okay. All right. We'll talk about those Friday morning. Yes, really. Kelly Gingery, the Mixed Flick Chick. We podcast all of her reviews, DVD reviews, all the brand new releases. She sees them first, and uh, we put her reviews online at mymix1079.com. Mix 1079. Well, we got three in pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and we like weren't rushed. And that was good. Yeah, we weren't too rushed. <clears throat> Hooyah.